Hello and welcome back to another, another How to Bloke. Now today we're going to play a little game. Now have a look down here, please camera person. You've seen this before, right? Where you've got to spot the fev or whatever you call it underneath there. The wall. The wall. Now I've played this game several times. Um, but seriously, seriously, we're going to make something summary today. Because I've done a lot of DIY kind of mechanical in, uh, videos, so... Uh, I'm going to do, uh, today I'm going to do something, uh, yogurt, homemade yogurt ice lolly. Uh, what do they call them in America? Uh, popsicle. Popsicle, yeah, yeah, that's it, that's it. So we're going to eat a healthy one, you know, none of this, uh, none of this added sugar stuff. So it's going to be good for everybody. Right, what you're going to need is a can. I'm going to use a can of uh, mango here. Right, it's, it's mango pulp. It's all be, already been blitzed up. Now, if you can't get this... Uh, you can get this anywhere, uh, uh, yeah, anywhere. And but if it's, sometimes it comes in chunks, sometimes it comes in kind of slices, things. But you need it blitzed up. Well, hopefully, this is blitzed up. But could you use fresh mangoes? Yeah, you could, of course you could. Yeah, you, you just you know, use fresh mangoes. Don't obviously chuck the, the 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 peel of it. Don't use the peel, just the flesh. Uh, anyway, you got it blitzed up, like nice and creamy. So I'm going to shortcut that and use this because I can't be bothered. I haven't got the time do any mango peeling and that's what it looks like it looks like um, can, soup doesn't it it's not it is mango and looking on the tin it's got some sugar in it I mean you might be able to find something that hasn't got any sugar in it but obviously fresh mango doesn't so we're gonna pour that in there like that but fresh mango is sweet enough anyway isn't it so. yeah I mean this has natural sweetness so that's really fine that. now we're gonna use the yogurt we're gonna use for this is Greek yogurt. You've got to have a thick, creamy yogurt. There's no point you, you get one of these fat-free, sugar-free, you know, you look in the pot and you wonder what's in it kind of yogurts. No, you, use, you have to use fat, full-fat Greek yogurt. Good stuff. Because the better the yogurt, the better the ice cream. Right. How many of that to use? About the same amount. But we're not going to plonk it in and mix it. We're going to kind of do it like this. We're kind of do it like this, on, like, on the side, like that. I mean, Greek yogurt is healthier than using cream anyway, isn't it? Yeah, for sure. For sure. It's, it's, it's nourishing, but... So that's one. I think we're going to stay with two here. Just the second one. So, how much yogurt are you put? Normally it's got kind of like 50-50 or, you know, a bit more, a bit, if you're going to... But a bit less yogurt. So 50-50 or a bit less yogurt to, to uh, mango is what you want. So we're going to get all that stuff in here. And, uh, right. So now we're going to just going to go like this. Ooh, that was beautiful. A bit. What we're trying to create is kind of like a swirl. little bit of a swell. Not it doesn't. We try and mix it, but not mix it up so it's all one colour. That's what I'm trying to do anyway. It doesn't matter if you do that. I'm just trying to make it look as pretty as I can. Right, so, now, what we need now, what you're gonna need is, you're gonna need some lollipop sticks like this, you know, common garden lollipop sticks, wooden ones. And you're gonna need some tin foil, and I'll show you how that works in a minute. Right, so, what you do is, you get some of this. Now, these are ordinary paper cups, okay? They're just the common garden paper cups. Um, polystyrene cups, I don't know whether it will work in polystyrene cups. Plastic cups it would. Well, a paper cup, paper cup is easy. Then again, they've got to be shaped like that, so that the top is bigger than the bottom. If they're shaped like, if they're straight, or if they're shaped the other way, then you're not going to get any ice cream out. Okay, so that's a, that's a technical tip there. So, we're going to pour this in. Now, we're not going to fill it up full, because that's a massive ice cream that is. So we're going to pour it in about like that. I mean, you could fill it up. No, it's not that a problem. It's so massive. You know, but they're not supposed to be main meal ice creams, are they? Really? Like that. Now you don't have to do anything to the coat to coat the 
the, the the surface of the inside the cup because they should have like a kind of a waxy because they're supposed to hold liquid don't forget so they should have a kind of a waxy um, coating anyway to start with right we're going to make we're going to make all of these is a great tip if you haven't got ice cream ice cream molds yeah if you I mean oh ice cream molds are nothing wrong with them but they're not always what you want no everyone has them. No everyone has them. So I mean yeah, you can get paper cups down the local store, can't you? You get a tin, a tin of um, mango or something, yeah, you know. So that mixture there, while used in there, you can see the size of the tin and how much mo yogurt, mogurt? No, yogurt I put in there. Makes about that. Let's get the rest out of there. Five large ones. Yeah, so that's good. So what we're going to do now, obviously you can't eat it until they're frozen, so I'll come back uh, later on to, to do that. Right, now to get the lolly stick in there, just make it, so there's no point having a, a lolly stick that's, that's just like this, so you know, you put it in and it's resting in the dust, that's not very good is it? So what we're going to do is make them up, stand them up straight. So how we do that is, we turn off a bit of foil like this. Any old tin foil will do. We wrap it over top of the cup like that, right? And then we get a little knife like that, and we poke it in the middle. Not too big a slit, just a little bit. And we poke the lolly stick in like that, yeah. right? So we do another, I'll do another one. Oh. The tin foil is only to hold the, the stick up upright. There's nothing. There's nothing. There's no uh, magic or technology um, science involved here. It's just uh, right. So little slit, and then push the lolly stick all the way down like that. And there you go. Now what happens is you've got to freeze that now in the freezer, not in the fridge, freezer. And you've got, it's handy to have a little tray like that. So. Organise the space before you get there, so you can plonk it straight in. How long does it take to freeze? I don't know, six hours, five hours, something like that. And they'll be ready. So if you make them in the, in the morning, they'll be ready for uh, the, the, this, in the afternoon, sort of four o'clock, five o'clock, something. Hello, welcome back. Uh, today is the next day. Does that make sense? I don't know. Look, these things here, these are um, uh, homemade uh, popsicles or lollipops, right? They've been in the freezer overnight, okay? Uh, you don't have to put them overnight, five or six hours is good. Okay, let's have a look at this. Now, if we take this off, right, this is the full, and that is what you see inside. Okay, so what you do with the cup, you kind of, you might need a pair of scissors. You get a pair of scissors like this, just give it a, you just got to make a start with a cup really. And then, what you do, is you peel it like this, hopefully it will work first time, normally it does, like that, try not to handle it too much, and there you go, that's what it looks like close up ladies and gentlemen, so that's yoghurt, and this one particular one is yoghurt and uh, what did I say, it was um, mango pulp, yeah that's it, as I say you can get it in tins, if you can't get it in tins then um, blitz up a mango, but minus the skin of course. There we go. Now that, that that's doable, isn't it? You know, people can you can buy lollipop sticks in most anywhere. You can get a uh, paper cup from somewhere. You can get this the ingredients, the thick Greek yogurt type thing, brewed yogurt, you know, uh, fermented yogurt at a supermarket, and you can get the the fruit as well. So I think the children would like this one. This is natural, a yogurt and and fruit. You can't go wrong with that. Have a look on the tin, of course, when you buy the. By the, if you want it super super uh, healthy, have a look on the tin of the fruit before you buy it because uh, it might have a lot more sugar than you think. But you know, it's good. Let me try. You just come out of freezer though. Hmm. Even when it's cold, you can get you can get the flavour of that. It's for homemade ice cream. Oh, sorry, homemade lollipop, popsicle, frozen one, is good.
So, okay, I've got some um, de uh, no cooking up here. I've got some quick tips here. I've got some DIY jobbies down here. And if you want to subscribe to me, it's down there. So until next time.